Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So a lot has happened since the last episode. Uh, we're at Gatekeeper and we had to do a lot of refitting on our mechs. If you watched the last episode, I know it was almost two hours long, but it was a long fight against the clans. Um, it was a really tough battle. They didn't run. They stood and fought, fought the whole time. Um, so we took some uh, fairly significant damage, it made me rethink the mechs. I want to thank uh, Mitsunik, Mitsunaki, I hope I got pronouncing this right, Mitsunaki and uh, Fists of Dorn for their suggestions on the comment section. Uh, great comments on uh, laying out mechs. Um, one of the suggestions was to build an arrow mech. Now I haven't done that yet and, and here's the reason why. I'm just going to quickly go into the Night, Night Gear Prime. We refit this one. This is the one that went down. This is my main mech my main guy's mech. It went down last episode. Uh, we lost the one side. But I'm going to go in here real quick. Just show you what I mean. So we've got a clan arrow system, which I can kind of show you. So he was saying that I should have taken, or one of the things I could have taken, was the um, fire control system indirect so we could build an arrow mech. I, I totally agree. I'm, I, t I still kind of want to build an arrow mech. I want to see how it's going to work out. Um, but if we go to weapons here, um, Thunderbolt, arrow system. So the arrow itself, right, it's 12 tons. So there's 24 tons if we're putting two of these on a mech, right? So we, and we want to put them in the arms. But in clan mechs, mo um, all the clan mechs that I have are only good onto the upper arm actuator, which means we can't put a weapon mount in here. And you're going to want a weapon mount if you're going to mount an arrow system. You want to make it as accurate as possible. So you need a mech that's capable of having missile systems in both arms and can mount a weapon mount, which these Omni mechs that I have can't do. So we're already losing out on plus three accuracy. Now I can fit in the lower arm actuator, which gives us plus one accuracy, which is okay. I mean, we can drop that in there. That's fine. So we got 12 tons. It's using up, a, you know, not a lot of space in here um, on both sides. So that's 24 tons for that. So if we're going to want to fire this, continuously for combat after that last mission we're going to need at least 15 turns of firing which means we need six tons of ammo so there's 30 tons right there okay so if i strip this mech real quick you can see um where the issue is going to come into play here now this doesn't have you know we, we took off the uh um endo steel all the heat sinking and everything has come off so um, but you can see where we're at here. So that would be 66 and quarter tons, which isn't a lot, which means it doesn't leave room for any other weapon systems um, or anything else like that. Let's just go back to where we were. Actually, back like this. Right? Revert changes. Revert? No. Not going to revert. Let's go back out and come back in again. So, I mean, with the, I mean, the Grand Summoners are probably a better case for this because uh, these guys don't have a whole lot of weight. So once again, 30 tons, could, we actually couldn't fit it in the Grand Summoner. I mean, we might be able to, um, we got Heavy Pharaoh here. Uh, but once again, once we start adding stuff like this, um, right, and we start using up all the space, we're going to run into, like, I don't know if we'll run into problem with heats, heat sinking. Well, you know what, we might buy it as 35, right? Double heat sink kit, you know, maybe, maybe some uh, extra heat sinks. This is a plus four heat sink mech, so we'd be able to put, leave the plus four in there. So yeah, we know we might be able to do it. Maybe I'm wrong here. I think maybe I'm wrong. We might be able to sneak it in here. But we're going to need another clan arrow system. We do have the ammo now. Uh, we got six tons of arrow ammo, which we've picked up, which is awesome. I think it was the last mission we picked that up. But we might be able to go ahead and do that. But once again, like I said, without the arm mounts, I'd love to be able to get the arm mounts in and, and have it work, but... I don't know, we're going to have to find an inner sphere mech with missile uh, launchers on both arms, uh, which might be, you know, difficult. I mean, the other thing to do, too, is to dismantle one of the archers, put it in the, put the arrows in the torso. Now, I have a, I have a turret mount uh, that I still have out of play right now that could go in. It's plus two for torso mounted weapons, um, any weapons mounted in the torso. So we could put the arrow one, maybe we might be able to fit both arrows into one torso plus the turret mount. I don't know. We'll have to play around with it, but once we'll do that once we get an arrow system. But that was one suggestion. I think it's a good suggestion. It's still on the table. I still want to build the arrow mech. I'm not sure, like the area effect damage isn't that bad. Um, and being able to fire two of them every turn, um, 
might end up like especially in a, on a long battle might end up being really really beneficial for us but we'll have to see how it goes and how accurate it's going to be at long range we'll need tracker sensors and things like that but we'll see how it goes then the other thing was um you know getting the hyper laser back into play which i have done now uh, so that's into play. Let, I'm going to go through the mechs real quick. The two archers pretty much stay the same after the last match. And I don't know whether I'm using the thunder ammo wrong or or the calculations were weird. But when we nailed um, an area with a ton of thunder ammo and the mechs moved through it, it barely took any leg damage. And we hit it with a couple of 70s, like LRM 70s of, of thunder ammo on one location and I think the mech took 18 damage moving through the square or something so it really wasn't that effective so I've pulled the thunder ammo out of both of the archers and it's all Artemis now so we can go for pretty much the entire battle so we've at, like uh, I think it's a ton or two at least two tons per mech I think it's three on one but we've got a lot more ammo now so we can continue to fight to uh, up to like 15 or 16 turns or something like that so it's a fair amount of ammo um, so hopefully we don't run out like we did in the last battle. So that's those guys. The night gear stayed exactly the same. It's still the full ATM build. It worked out pretty well last time. I mean, we, we, we kind of just ran out of ammo um, at the end of the last battle. But it's got significant amount of ammo for the ATMs, uh, which I like. It's got like 16 turns of, of ammo um, firing all the missiles. So that's fine. The Orion stayed the same. It's still the heavy PPC risk ER large laser build. Uh, with weapon mounts so that's still going to be the same the Loki Prime uh, sorry the I keep saying that the Hades changed slightly now we talked about um, this guy had an ultra 5 and I think it was a couple of medium lasers or something and in order for this guy to really be effective he's got to kind of be behind everybody else and hopefully in cover because we don't want him to get knocked out right he is our AMS mech so I did make some changes here what I did is I pulled out the uh, ultra 5 so now we've got a pair of ER mediums for backup uh, a pair of LRM 15s with um, three tons of uh, Artemis ammo which is going to give us 12 turns of continuous firing which isn't bad I mean if we're in a long battle we've got a couple of ER medium lasers so we're okay uh, we do have an Artemis system in play SLDF cockpit I want to get a better cockpit this isn't bad piloting and tactics but I want a better cockpit I still need to find more cockpits that's one thing we're running short on and I put the sensor missile range in here because, like I said, this guy's going to be standing back. So add, adding that extra 20% range will give him the ability to possibly hit turrets and things like that. Still has its jump jet and it has the advanced AMS, the AMS Mark II. And I left a laser AMS in this thing. I don't know if we really need it because we've got the two other AMSs, but this will at least stop people from shooting this guy. And if our ammo runs out, at least the laser AMS will still protect this mech. So if we can get a clan laser AMS, that'll be even better. We'll save a half a ton. But until that point, we're kind of stuck right where we are right now with this guy. So I think this is a pretty good upgrade from the last time we had a look at this one. Um, the Zeus remain the same. I've been playing around with replacing the Streak LRM-20 and the regular uh, LRM-15 in the arm. I want to get a pair of ATMs, I think. Maybe an ATM-9 and an ATM-6. I don't have a 9, but I do have a 6 plus ammo. Uh, and go more the uh, long range uh, higher damage ammo um, and maybe avoid the, the uh, streak accuracy. The streak accuracy is nice, plus one evasion ignored and plus one accuracy with the weapon, plus the arm mount giving it even more accuracy. Uh, but if, if all these missiles hit, we're only doing 80 damage, which isn't bad, but if you consider like if we're, well, I guess we got to consider the LRM-15 too hitting, so... Uh, if the 15 hits with everything that's 60 damage so that's 140 damage for this but if we're going with an ATM 15 build as opposed to this then the regular ATM 15 build will hit for 120 damage HE will hit for 180 damage if they all hit um, so you know and plus the the fact that this streak won't do indirect fire but the ATMs will um, you know, and then the ATMs, of course, having the, the bonus accuracy like the streak does. So uh, that's the kind of the reason. I want to try it anyway. I think it's probably going to be a little better, especially when uh, mechs and stuff are, are uh, fortified. We'll be getting a little bit more damage out of it. Um, or they're in trees. We'll get a little more damage out of it. Um, it'll do great damage against turrets and stuff too. So um, we're going to try it once we get the uh, ATM-9. But right now we're going to leave it as it is. 
Um, so the mechs that did change, Grand Summoner, this guy took a pummeling the last the last battle. This was our uh, AC-10 build. We lost the Ultra-20, we lost the Ultra-10. So now I've gone down to this. And I, it's not going to be the final build by any means, but right now it's a mech that's back in play. Spotliner on here for reduced damage. A pair of large heavy lasers for some heavy hitting laser power. A couple of ER mediums, tag barrage, laser AMS, and then just a ton of heat sinks. Now we lost a bunch of stuff out of this mech last time. Um, but I decided to make this guy more or less our advanced, like move the guy who moves forward, advanced scout kind of mech. So he's got the uh, active probe in here and a Guardian ECM, uh, powered sensors, enhanced imaging, and I put, I put the fire control system Nova in here to reduce the heat generated by lasers. So um, it's still running pretty hot. It's only 12 over, but it's, I mean, it's not bad uh, for what it is. We can just cycle off one, or, one of the uh, ER mediums every once in a while. Uh, and it should be hitting relatively heavy with the two large um, heavy lasers. They are a little bit inaccurate, but you know we'll see how it goes. Uh, and then we've got the Grand Summoner Prime, which switched slightly. So we've got the the hyper laser on this side rather than the um, uh, we had the large heavy in here. Uh, so now it's got the hyper laser, large pulse, and a pair of ER mediums. Tag barrage. It's pretty much the same as it was last time. Now the heat sinking on this guy. Uh, is actually really good because it's got the prototype double heat sinks in it, so it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, and then with the uh, fire control system advanced with the uh, battle computer energy, giving it a little bit better chance to hit with the energy weapons. Hopefully, the hyper laser will hit well, but we'll see how it goes. And then the last mech, of course, was the night gear, which we lost the whole side on. Now this mech is just a temporary build for now, so we can get it into the fight. Um, so. The problem with this one was the heat sinking. Now, we're 187 right now. Sorry, it's really dry up here, guys, um, in the attic. Uh, so I've got three ER larges, the medium ER pulse, uh, ER medium, and the large improved heavy laser. I want to go with the large improved heavy laser build again on this guy. But like I said, you know, I need to get the gear and stuff. So I've just added a bunch of stuff in here to kind of make this work. We've got a partial wing system in here now. I'm interested to see if just having the wing system gives us jump because I remember last time if you had a partial wing system in the center torso you had a jump of one so I'm interested to see if this is actually it says plus 30 percent to jump distance but I don't know if it gives us one jump or what it is um, it's got three slots per torso so it's a fair bit of space but I actually just needed the heat sinking more than anything which is why I put it in I had the space um, I'm out of prototype double heat sinks I thought well I'll just put the wing system in to see how that works so we dropped that in there. We're going to we'll have some fun with that today, see how it goes. Uh, but everything else, we put a UAV in too. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm knocking myself in the head. I'm going to try and make sure I use this more. Uh, I haven't been using the UAVs at all, but this time I'm going to try and use this as much as I can, see how it works. And then we got the Nova CWS, which we picked up. I'll put that in this guy too. Hopefully that'll keep us from getting wrecked again. Um, but yeah, that's this mech here. Now, I don't have another lower Omnipod arm for this guy, or do I? I think I ran out. They're down here. Um, yeah, we ran out. I got to get another Omnipod arm for this guy. We don't have it up here, do we? No. Need an Omnipod arm. So that's one of the things I got to look out for. And we have a laser AMS on this guy as well. So that's it for this guy. Um, we're going to jump into a battle here. Good. I'm going to take it easy a little bit on this one. It's still going to be a four and a half skull mission, but we're going to take it a little easier on this one. I'm going to go to the command center here real quick. Sorry that review took so long, but it needed to. We're going to do reconquest here and get a little bit more um, uh, clout back with uh, Jade Falk, or uh, sorry, Clan Wolf. We lost a bit with them. So we're going to go against pirates in this four and a half skull mission, attack and defend. Uh, it's 521 salvage, which is awesome. So we're just going to go straight up salvage like this. And hopefully we can avoid a lot of damage. Now, um, we got to switch these around here. So you need to come down here because Hellion is going to leave this mission. So we're going to put her up in the main main body up here. So you, Gundal, Mastodon, and Workhorse, and Spoiler, we're going to spoil you by putting you in the night gear. Now, you're obviously not going to be the leader, but I'll put you in the leader slot for now. Uh, and then we want to go Zeus, uh, Summoner B. Um, want to bring the Summoner Prime in. This is the... Yeah, we do with the Hyper Laser. Let's put you... Actually, let's take out the Night Gear. And let's put in the uh, Summoner Prime. 
we're going to give that to uh, Spoiler so he doesn't wreck my mech. Uh, Archer and then Workhorse. Actually, you know what, Spoiler? Uh, we're going to give Workhorse this Ground Summoner. We're going to give Spoiler the uh, Loki, or the, the Hades, sorry. And you can run the uh, AMS for us. And let's do this. Okay, here we go, guys. We are down on the ground. We got, looks like a king crab here, probably. Looks like it. And they got turrets. One, two, probably three lances up. What's this? Intercept these guys first, then go after the base. And I'm assuming this is our extraction point if we're going to extract. Some backup in the form of defensive turrets, but they won't last long against actual mechs. Okay. That's our LZ. Wow. All right. Hey, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. What are you talking about? Standing by. All right, let's go punish these pirate MFers. What do we got for terrain here? Oh, I know where we are. Okay. It's this map. Just in the reverse. Normally you start on this side and face a lance over here or go after this base. But now we're starting on this side and going the other way. Cool. So, turrets and two lances and one lance, probably. So they've got seven rounds for the first wave. Eleven and fourteen. One, two support lances, pirate attackers. Okay, destroy four. Okay, this should be this should be pretty straightforward, I think, for us. Let's just gain some ground and get up here. So this, um, the ATM build that we have right now, um, on Goofy, I'm, I don't know. I'm just kind of, I'm up for suggestions if you guys can think of something better to lay out on that. But for now, uh, I think the ATM build's going to stay. The ATM 30 is, or yeah, the ATM 30 is kind of punchy, especially on a side attack on a mech. If you got good chances to hit with HE ammo, it's just going to shred them, right? So if all 30 hit, you're looking at what, um, 360 damage with HE. Oh, you asshole! We got a shot in this guy? We can. Fully armored too. Wow, that's really bad chances to hit. Oh, I got one hit though. Two hits. Nice. Okay, um, bad chance to hit, so let's just go with, um, standard. I'll leave the haywire on, just in case this guy gets a chance to fire again. How much are you down to over here? Oh, uh, you still got lots. Looks like a little more damage on the side there. Nice. How far can you get up this side? Not very far, eh? I want this guy gone. Wow. Really? I'm gonna leave the hyper laser off, but we'll uh, leave this off too. <laughs> He's a little close for the rest. We're gonna fire the rest. So Fist of the Dorm was talking about the hyper laser and potentially just leaving it on max damage all the time because it doesn't really say in the description if overcharging it's going to increase the chance for it to misfire I don't know it's it's really hard to t it's, it's really hard to say I, I don't know what the deal would be with the misfire I, I'm I like the weapon I'm just afraid to lose the damn thing the, the chance of us getting another one anytime soon is going to be pretty darn low so let's put you over here 
That's eh, not even bother. Save the ammo. We got king crabs up ahead. I've been center locked. It seems though now that we've got the full lance of it, I don't know whether it's because we have all eight mechs in the field or whether or not we've upped the difficulty, but we don't we're not getting any uh, backup support um, in the form of a lance with us anymore, which is great. Because, you know, while they're, every once in a while, especially at lower levels, they can be really handy and helpful. Uh, at this level, eh, you know, they're not really helping all that much. Other than the fact that they were, wow, that's really low. Wow. How is that so bad? I guess because I'm so close. For Spoiler alert. Um... Uh, Okay, before we forget here, AMS Mark II, um, let's put it on overload. Advanced AMS, that's just range, right? Overload, off, machine gun. Can you use this as a machine gun on somebody? the difference between on 30 rounds overload 20 I guess it's just the range let's just leave it on yeah we can see the red circle here everyone's in the red circle so we're good just put it right here not gonna bother firing yeah so we got a ton of LRMs but I don't know I mean We're doing pretty good shooting down missiles, though. <laughs> 13 from 15. I'll, I'll take that any day. Got a pair of AMSs. Actually, three of them with the mech, so, uh, the individual mechs AMS. So. Okay. Got to kill this fulcrum, man. He's scouting for them. Eight from forty. Wow. Yeah, I think the AMS mech was just a great idea. Thanks to all those people that were pushing me for getting AMS onto me Quasimoto. <laughs> Thanks for all the people pushing me to get AMS onto mechs and kind of glad I thought of the dedicated AMS mech because that's going to save us so much space on all, all of our heavy hitters. You can just put those light um, clan laser AMSs in there for a little bit of extra protection. Uh, why are you going first? Not sure. All right, we got sensors on finally. Hunchback, Quasimodo, a ferret. Let's kill this guy if we can. Wow. Wow. We're going to fire. All right, a few hits. Yeah, let them fire missiles at you. Order. Good luck with that. God, 18. What the hell does this guy got for... Uh... Let's take the flames, but we're going to move into here. I'm going to leave the hyper laser off for now. Beautiful. 
Look at that, flying in the air. See ya! Alright, hopefully that gets rid of their jammer. Got a lock on me. Of course they do. Waiting for, order. Waiting for orders. Ah, sure. Stay away from the flames. Quasimoto, Quasimoto. Um, wow. What is up with this particular battle? What is... Let's leave the barrage off this guy. We'll fire the rest. The chances to hit are garbage now. What's going on? We better ferret out that ferret. Question is, do I want to wake, waste a rack strike on this guy? I mean, we could probably shred him if I do. I might as well. One turn, one kill. Oh, you bastard. They mean business. Looks like we didn't get all of them. Damage is light. 24 from 60. Still not bad though. Right here. Mm -hmm. Look at the chance to hit. Am I missing something here guys? I know range plays a part of it. gonna go this route. I'm gonna leave the barrage off though. I want to save them from when we push the guys at the back. Uh, let's leave the ER. Yeah, no, we'll leave it on. Okay, made him unstable. That'll definitely give us a better chance to hit, unless of course he goes before us. Doesn't look like the Quasimodo is running... Um, any kind of uh, protection here, or ECCM, e e electronic counter countermeasures. Looks like he's just normal. I thought maybe this guy was the guy that was jamming us, but it could be the, uh, the ferret. I don't know. I'll find out in a second here. Once uh, I guess it's, there must be a, a gunship or something back here waiting to move. So, if we can find an ATM-9 in this battle, it's great. Um, what else are we looking for? I, mean, I don't think we're going to find a clan arrow system here. We, I really want a clan one. I don't want an inner sphere because I think the difference is like 3 tons. I think, or maybe it's 2 tons. The inner sphere version might be 14 tons, I think. I thought it was 15, but it might only be 14. Clan ones being 12 tons puts it in weight range. Originally, when I, I uh, uh, responded to... Um, once again, I apologize if I butcher your name, Mitsunaki. Uh, when I um, responded to his post, I was saying that by the time we get everything in, we just we just don't have the weight to do it. I, I was th assuming that the aero systems were 15 tons, which was 30 tons for them, plus 6, which would have been 36 tons, which we wouldn't really have had the weight to do in the mechs that we have, especially when we need to get other stuff in there. So, uh, yeah, I kind of spoke ahead of turn there. Um, but, um, yeah, no, I think it's, it's still totally doable. In a situation like this, I mean, we could theoretically be targeting back here, right? Because that arrow system should hit pretty much all the way across the map. Now, I don't know if, because it's indirect, I don't know if we can maybe lob into here? Probably we can. Okay, is there a gunship moving? Is someone deciding what this guy's like? I don't understand. Something's going on. Oh, there we go. Reporting major armor loss. 
Maybe we will get an arrow system. It could be that there could be there's turrets back there using them. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Here you are. Just do it. Wow, we only got 10% of them. Oh, stomp. Man, we're not even going to get out of this base, for crying out loud. All I can say is thank goodness we got that AMS, man. Could you imagine if we didn't have that? Okay. Can't miss up on the Warlord and this guy. Uh, just going to fire straight out. Hopefully we strip some armor. Or we kill him. That works too. Down. And I'm going to do something stupid here. We're just going to end. They have enemy in the target's facility? Is that what they said? If we clear them out, our employers won't have to? Uh, we have to clear them out anyway. They're like in the way. Dude. Freaking vehicles. I need this guy gone before anything else. Who do we have left here? Um, we've got Goofy with the ATMs. Hopefully that'll be enough to take this guy out. Uh-huh. Well, that's all those missiles. What's the plan? Uh, plan is for you to move to here. And switch to HE. Let's not fire the tag barrage because if we miss and hit our own base, that's going to be bad. Uh, I'm going to use the haywire. Uh, since he's hard to hit, let's put a beacon on him if we can. I'm going to warlord it. See if we can get more chances to hit on this guy. 43%. Beautiful. I understand. Not quite enough. I love how when we're shooting at the side, we're doing mostly front damage. I don't understand how that works. You're shooting at the front, you do side damage. Shooting at the side, you're doing front damage. I don't know. You can, you will. Okay, looks like a Marauder. What's this guy? Axel. Marauder 2. King Crab. Demolisher. Carrier. Not so afraid of the carriers now. Those AMS is going off. It's like good luck. I could switch out that that um, I could switch out that uh, um, laser AMS for another uh, AMS Mark II. We got like 1,100. No, we got like 1,200 rounds or something in the AMSs. So it's like. <laughs> You figure we could use a hundred rounds every turn, be like twelve turns of covered covering fire. Damage minimal. Calliope turrets looks like back there. What's this guy? Atlas two. Okay. We got to clear up the uh, this guy in the, in the ferret. This turn for sure. Okay, let's get away from there. Stay in the trees, though. Come on. There you go. Get our stability back. And hopefully... Ah, we're not even going to hit this guy, man. 
Really? Oh, I gotta remember the. Oh, I don't have the UAV out here. I left the Mac back at home. <sighs> Wait, who's got the Beagle probe? Not Gundal. Is it Gundal that's got the Beagle probe? Yeah, he does. Shoot. I should have checked to see. I don't think it's got a UAV on it, though. We're gonna pull behind the rocks so they don't get at least at least they don't get direct fire on us. Yeah. Uh lousy chances to hit, but we're gonna take it. We're gonna fire everything. Alright, a few hits, but let's just get over here. Stay behind the rocks. Gotta be that vehicle. Wow, man. Really? Alright, let's start stripping the armor off this guy. Most likely, I don't know what it is. Range, maybe? I, I don't know. I just need a good solid front hit. This ferret's going to take off, though. If we don't, if I don't go before him, he's going to take off on us. I'm going to pull the Orion back. Hopefully, kill this guy from range. That's the goal, anyway. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. Hades is going to come back into here. We're going to bring the grand, this other Grand Summoner back. It's either going to be here or here, depending on if this guy dies or not. Well, we still got the Archer to go at 19. This guy's going on 20. If I can rotate the Archer around... Alright, they're just shooting the Hades now. Do they have three lances back here or two? They gotta have. No, they got two. Okay, they got reinforcements coming in five turns too. Uh, something I gotta worry about. Let's get into here. Wow, are you serious? Hit my own guy in the back. Sorry, man. Yeah, Goofy took a back shot. What is this guy running that makes him so hard to hit? Yeah, I can see that. Commander. Okay, we can't have our back shoot at this guy's back. I mean, because we won't hit the front. Look at this. Bring it. We're going to do this instead. Going to take the chance. I know this is a bad idea. Okay, we did a little bit of damage to him.
Well, he got his turret hit. If we can do another one of those, that should be enough for this guy. Do you have a barrage? You don't have a barrage. Okay, we can see them both from here. We'll just shoot at whatever one's the best target. We've got a good chance on this guy. And this guy, we've got a great... What? All of a sudden? I don't understand. Let's make sure we get the kill. Wasted so much ordnance on that guy. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. Yeah, he had some kind of jammer going. Okay, there is a Nidhog back there, it looks like. Yes, Commander. Let's give this guy a face a little bit goofy. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to switch this to Haywire. I'm going to put the, um, I'm going to leave the tag off because we got guys coming up that I can use it on. Yes, That's why I want the ATM build on the, uh, wow, you can't really move very far, can you? One of the reasons why I want the ATM build on the, um, on the Orion is those heavy ATM 12 damages when a mech's in the open like that. Plus also too, if I'm going to start, um, I got to be aware of my breaching shots more too, one of the things that was recommended. So we got to be careful of that. Um, so if I'm going to be doing that, then I'm going to have to um, have a nice hard hitting weapon that I can do split fire with, right? Twenty six from thirty. Beautiful. Barely hit commander. All right, well, they're going to have reinforcements this match, that's for sure. Driving four rounds. Oh, maybe now we might be able to clear these guy and guys in four, depending on how fast. If we can go before this guy, he's pretty much gone. That's a quick draw. So they do have. Wait a minute. Demolisher, Carrier, Marauder two, Atlas two. So that's one Lance, King Crab, Quick Draw, Axel, and the Nidhog is second Lance. But I thought there was more guys back there. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's cool off here. Receiving you. What do you think, buddy? You think that uh Hmm. Waiting for order. Can we get over here? Oh yeah. You know what you gotta do. You gotta go overcharge. Um, let's just fire. Hope we get lucky on it. That's significant amount of heat, right? So we can't overcharge all the time. You could go three turns like this before overheating and two turns like this. But we're going to overcharge this. I want to see if I can pull this guy out of the battle. There it is. Yep. Oh, he's not dead, though. But he's pretty much neutralized. I think we pretty much killed all those weapons. Oh, he's got a couple of energy and missile left, eh? She got left in the center. Oh, my God. <laughs> Someone just got a spit on him. Um, you're always better with direct fire. Let's move over here. What's up, buddy?
So one of the reasons why I want to get a lot of direct fire laser platforms in here. Continuous fire, plus we don't have to worry about the AMS. Okay, Atlas it is. And firing. Nice. Three hits, but I don't think they all went on the Atlas. So I think they may have hit the... Uh... Oh, there's a Dervish back here too. So they must have... They gotta have more than uh, that Nidhogg sneaking up on us here. They gotta have more than two lances back there. Yeah, that Nidhogg's like choking us now. We're gonna have to fire a uh, couple of barrages at the ground near that guy and clear him up. It's unfortunate that we can't. Uh, use that ground target as a multi-target. Be nice to be able to just like shoot at them and multi-target the ground at the same time, but I guess that would kind of be cheating. Although it really isn't. It is and it's not, you know. It's cheating in the rules, just not cheating in real life. Because you'd be able to do that. Okay, so Not sure who I'm worried about more. This Atlas is, looks like it's got a big Gauss cannon on the shoulder, but it maybe it's AMS or missile or something. I don't know. Someone's got a Gauss back here. It's uh, Marauder. Is this the Marauder? Was it a Marauder two that this was? Can't remember. If it was a Marauder two, this could have a Gauss and a couple PPCs. So that's a possibility. The Crab could be a dual Gauss, but my guess is it's probably not. It's probably the, the AC twenty build. I don't know if Atlas 2 parts are compatible with Atlas parts. Because I think we have one Atlas part. I think. And I don't think there's anything here um, that we can complete. Dervish, no. For sure, no. Marauder 2 and King Crab and the Atlas, probably not. Quick draw, we might have quick draw parts. <coughs> don't quote me on it, we might have. I'm not sure. And then um, the rest is just weapons. Let's hopefully, hope, let's hopefully, let's hope one of these weapons platforms has got arrows. We could steal an arrow system. But like I said, I do want the clan version. It's two, I think it's two tons lighter. Pretty sure it's two tons lighter. It might be three tons lighter. Yeah, someone's got arrow. My internals are taking a beat. Yeah. Under heavy fire. It's the Nidhogg. Oh god, just shut up. Guys, no. Just stop. Just stop. Let's get in the trees. Let's get in the trees. We got the barrage. Let's see what the chance to hit on this guy is. 37. Oh, this is a stealth bomber. 520 armor. Like, we could barrage the ground. What's the... Like, if we do that, let's try it. Let's give it a whirl. See how it goes. 155 damage. Reporting heavy damage. Another freaking fulcrum. Yeah, they must have three lances back there. Pirate attacker. Oh yeah, we haven't killed the. Uh, I was wondering why it was only seventy-five percent, but we haven't killed the um, hunchback yet. Okay, Gundal. Do you have the ability to kill this guy for me? You'd have to get lucky enough to hit his head. So I'm thinking. Let's not risk the miss on this guy. Let's go over here. Beautiful. Okay. That hurt. Did not.
Okay, we got to take this fulcrum out. What do we got left now? We got uh, Hellion still got to go. She might be able to pull that fulcrum out, depending on what kind of jammers they got going on. Not if we jam it. Got Mastodon. What's your attack like on this guy? 0.9 with indirect, huh? Can you get a direct line of sight on him anywhere? No. What about the Atlas? 20% in the Atlas. Let's just tab through and see what we got here. 25 on Axel Rose? Oh, sweet child of mine. Um, yeah, we know we can kill him. 40% in the quick draw. Looks like it's going to be the quick draw. Let's just see what we get out of this. Yeah, they got some serious AMS going back there. Just soften that guy up a little bit. Yeah, we'll just move over here. Yeah, Rax damage. Okay, you get the uh finish up this guy. Confirm. Now I'm not gonna use the streak. We're just gonna go with the ER medium and the LRM fifteen. I wanna use this just in case this misses the CT. I'm gonna aim for the CT. There we go. That's a kill, Commander. It is. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. It's going to slow to slowly whittle down what they can see at our end. If we can pull this fulcrum out, it's going to make it even harder for them. Of course, hard for us, too, but still. But we're going to have to move forward because they're going to start shooting at our base here if we don't. I wonder if we can get both archers into attack range on that base. Or at least their turrets, maybe. They've got two calliopes back here. It'll definitely help out the AMS. Oh. Damn it! I'm hit. Yeah, that's a calliope turret. I think that's a great idea. Should have been doing that from the beginning, people. If we can get a, someone with a tag barrage in close on this, we can level it in one one turn. I just got to get somebody up there. I don't know who it is. Gotta be one of you guys on this side. Uh, we don't want to move too far away from everybody. Guy's in a good spot. I'll give him that. Oh, flames in the way. Oh, not here, though. Do I want to move this close. That's the question. Probably not, huh? Just asking for trouble. Okay, no flames here. Let's just get into here. Understood. Fast. God, look at the chance to hit this thing. Might be the quick draw again. Probably. Let's take the quick draw. 
Uh, I'm going to Warlord. we got to start applying some good damage to these guys. God, the big ones hit. Or missed, I mean. I need Goofy to do an ATM run on this guy here. Yeah, we're not going to get to the uh, base before the reinforcements show up. The Atlas vanished. That's a Marauder. That's BS7. That's a regular Marauder. Yes, Commander. Well, that's a bit of a relief. On my way. Oh, that's a really good chance to hit. Uh, we're going to leave it overcharged. We're going to fire at him. Nice shooting. Couple good solid leg hits. Shit, it misfired. Roger that. Man, you can hit the turrets from there. Oh, well, maybe not. <laughs> You ain't hitting shit. You ain't hitting shit. They got an AMS turret back there. Point defense, probably. Heavy command bunker, that's probably point defense stuff in there. At least we got a couple hits on that quick draw. Soften them a little bit anyway. What the fuck is that? Star shell? Stop. Damage critical. Report in minimal damage. Light damage, Commander. Eighteen percent, huh? Move order received. Maybe we can scare him away. Oh, thirty one percent, not bad. That's worthy of a rack attack, I think. We can chew this guy up. Get him the F out of here. Although I think it's his turn now. Maybe we scare him. Maybe we can scare him off. I don't know. They haven't lost anybody in their lances back there, so they're most likely not willing to move. Oh, did he just not move? Or is it just did not take his turn? Wait. Mama, where's Mama over here? Oh, you're over here. I thought you were back here. Affirmative. Actually, let's multi-target this. Oh, yeah. Oh, he didn't move. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to put those two on B. Let's put this on B as well. And the rack and... Uh, the streak on A. Affirmative. Okay, he's taking some really heavy damage now. It's too bad this smoke doesn't uh, interfere with lasers and stuff. Okay, he's still got a bunch of armor left. Reporting. You think, Goofy, you think we can kill this guy? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna give Goofy a vigilance, and we're gonna sprint up here. I'm giving him the vigilance because, um... I want him to be moving earlier. I don't want to be stand I don't want him standing out here. Uh let's go with the beacon. I want to multi-target. Yeah, I could multi-target this. It's multi. Let's go with you. And B is going to take this tag. 
I'm going to save the HE ammo though. We're going to go standard ammo. Oh, we hit him too. Nice. No, it looks like we... Oh, there's a king crab. Yeah, there's a king crab back there. There he is. They must have three lances back there. Three. <sighs> That's a little better. Let's kill this bleeper. Jammer's gone. Nice. Oh, it looks like we a lot of things popped up back here now. Huh. Wonder what they're using. So I played a um on the second, uh, well, not really a second game, a game I'm kind of playing on the side during the week that I'm not recording. Uh, <laughs> I managed to actually pick up a fire control system headshot, which I've yet to see in this series. After all these missions we've played, I've still yet to see that, but I managed to pick up one of those. Um, and I also played a base defense mission where the turrets weren't turrets, they were actually helicopters. Can you, uh, you can't. Minefield on the way, huh? Roger. I'm not going to waste those good chances to hit. Oh, yeah, they all hit. At least it looked that way, anyway. I wonder if my AMS jammed. Probably did. System's holding. Damage minimal. Okay, what are they doing? Who's going first? On my side, Hellion. Yeah, uh, you're pissing her off, man. Don't do that. I think our warlord's back. Well, we have to go after this atlas anyway. This guy's just about done, I think. He's been shredded on the uh, left side. So he should be relatively easy to take down. We're going to move Goofy up in behind here, I think. That means we'll have to shift everybody forward. But I think we're okay. Is that a second quick draw? It's a second quick draw. Okay, we're going to rotate this way then. We're having a hard time with direct fire through here. They are in the open, but we'll have to kill the guys as they come up. Wow. Someone's got to take a shot at getting back there. My mech is taking critical damage. Hey, Commander, I'm taking some hits, huh? I'm showing minor damage. Took a hard hit there. Internal structure damage. Okay, let's see if we can kill this guy. Oh, you're gonna get some now. Yes, you are. 
Huh. Goodbye. Good. Bye. They lost two. Means they probably got about ten still back there. We're out of ammo? Oh shit, we're out of ammo. We burned through 1,200 rounds of ammo already? We burned, we burned through 1,200 rounds of ammo, guys. I don't know how tough their reinforcements are going to be, but that's going to be a major issue. Firing on Receiving. No, we gotta walk. Take the minefield, we had no choice. Shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, three points. See what I mean about the, the minefields are just like, eh. Support Goss, he's got the flare mortar. Wow, a whole lot of misses, huh? Couldn't even pull off one hit? Alright, well we'll deal with it. Was that a T-Molisher? Is that what it said? Reporting major armor loss. Under heavy fire. Thumb-Molisher. Reporting heavy damage. Stumper. Reporting heavy damage. I lost a weapon. Reporting heavy damage. Coordinates received. Oh, This guy got a freaking sword or something? He does. Let's go after this guy. Oh, they all hit. Beautiful. I think we need to pull these vehicles down. That's Those are the quick kills, I think. The quick draw should be relatively easy to pull down, I think. The Atlas, if we can focus fire, will come down pretty quick. So if we can focus on these two vehicles this turn, get rid of that th fucking thumper. Pardon me and my swearing, but I had to do it. Uh, can we switch to HE for this guy? Oops. No, we can't. I'm gonna Warlord this. I'm gonna go to the T-Molisher. But you see what I mean though? We're firing from the front, we're mostly hitting the sides. Okay. Let's get down in here. As you wish. Avoid as much direct line of sight as we can here. LRM carrier. He's hot loading ammo. That could have been worse. Yeah, it's getting pretty bad. Getting pretty bad. 40%, huh? Can we do 82? I don't think we can do 82 damage with only 40%. He's going to be spotted, but hopefully with the uh, 60s. That's a little better. Hopefully with the Phantom Mech on, it'll be a little harder to hit. Beautiful. Reporting. One less vehicle. Standing by. Receiving you. 
Let's fire them maneuver. Gonna leave it off for a second. I know we need the hit, but can't lose the weapon. I mean, I guess we could, but the chances of, of us finding another one anytime soon is going to be pretty damn low. Just back up here for now. I copy. Receiving you. Acknowledged. Okay, let's see if we can deal a death blow to this guy. Warlord it. That came in just the right time, eh? Attacking from position. Medium's hit. Beautiful! Vehicle down. Okay, there's two of the targets I wanted to pull down this turn. We still got a little bit of guns left, right? That was just Mastodon, wasn't it? Oh, we don't have any guns left. Okay. So we did get the two targets we wanted this turn. Beautiful. LRM Carrier is going to take all our indirect fire, I think, next turn. I want to try and kill that guy. Barely hit, Commander. Yeah, you're still getting hit, though. Well, we're out of narc ammo. Not that it's made that much difference, but... What, our allies couldn't have LRM turrets, eh? Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, let's hope they're light reinforcements, because that's going to be bad. We could push through the valley here and try and get a shot on these. Good to go. Coordinates received. 34 in the carrier. Doesn't look like it's got much armor. We gotta kill the carrier this turn, I think. I wanna get them into a direct fire confrontation as much as possible. Beautiful. Ready for orders. Huh. Ooh, that's a juicy target. All right, one hit. Aye, aye. I don't think we took any leg damage there. Maybe one point. Oh, three and three. Standing by. Do a fire maneuver on this guy. Okay, we penetrated. Badass. Let's get over here. The less direct fire, the better. Getting banged up pretty good. Yeah, I know you are. Oh, we can see the king crab. Probably not in rotary range, though. Oh, we can. I think we can hit that command bunker. That's the hardened calliope. Okay, we don't have the range with that one.
Okay, this is going to be a multi. Let's go against the King Crab. We're going to soften him a bit. We're going to target this guy with our LRM 15. Add some more damage on him. And we're going to go. All of them hit. Beautiful. At least it looked that way. Soften them up a bit. Okay, a few more of those fours. Beautiful. That was a hit. That's going to be a kill for spoiler here, I think. We lost an LRM-15? Really? Shit. It's not going to be a kill for you. Shoot this guy in the face, please. Get some defense over here in the trees. Come on, we gotta kill that carrier. We got Goofy still, so I'm not too too worried about it. Yes, Commander. How far can you jump? Sweet shit all. Let's just jump over here. I know we're unstable, but whatever. Drop it on this guy. Standard ammo. We don't have much left here. Oh, for crap's sake. Dude. Solid on that one. Yeah, but you didn't kill him, man. Crap, that guy's moving up, man. Starting to lose stuff. Good to go. Move orders received. Let's see what we got here. Dervish, no. Atlas, no. Yep, it's going to be this guy. Here it comes. Firing at full salvo. And we got the carrier with the barrage. Beautiful. Solid connection on that one. Reporting. Major armor lock. They've got a lock on me. Yeah. Trying to get my uh, archers into those, in range of those turrets. Systems holding. Plus, if we can get the Orion in the range of that back turret with a rack, we can probably shred it. God damn it. Yeah. Freaking vehicles. I love how they all get to go first. We're on the wrong side for retreat too. The right side for cover, but the wrong side for retreat. Okay. Let's hope we hit it. it. Fell short, damn it. How much armor left in that 
Oh my god, hit right in front of us. Punish the Atlas? I don't think we can kill him this turn. We can kill the Quick Draw. He's not really causing that much of a problem though. But these guys are. They're going to cause a huge problem if we don't kill them. Roger that. Reporting. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Copy that. I'm wounded. Of course you are. These guys are the masters of headshots. Commander. Got range in the heavy calliope. Let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna warlord. So I'm gonna save that for the uh, the rack. Okay, it's a start. We gotta start pushing and make some shit happen here. These guys are grouped. I don't think we have anyone with a barrage left. It'd be nice if we did. I'm worried about this guy getting close. Freaking pirate sword and shit. Goopy's got his barrage up. Beautiful. Gonna put me too close. Let's get here. God. Do we just stay cool and use this? Seventy four on the Atlas. Seventy nine on the quick draw. We're gonna take it and go. Take it and go. That hit good. Beautiful. Good to go. Get up there. You need to help out uh Yeah. You need to help out uh Hellion up here. You've only got one LRM, but Gonna use it. All that for 12 points. We'll take it. We'll take the 12. Not much I can do about it. Right. 
Oh, we can go with all of them. Dervish is almost done. I mean, we might get lucky on him. He's got a lot of missiles. Most likely, these are like the one shots. But this guy's the most dangerous. The Dervish, I'm sure we can kill relatively quickly. I can't believe we burned through 1,200 rounds of AMS that, that quickly. I guess those turrets, the Calliope turrets, must have really done a number on us. That and the carrier. I don't know how many LRMs the carrier had. Hey, uh, armor over here. Relax. I'm here. You panic, you die. It's the way this game works. On my way. Question is now, what's the chance on this guy? 47, we're going to take it. Okay. Hyper lasers out. Hyper laser is out. Well, we got one hit. It's frustrating when you've got weapons that can misfire. I like the hyper laser, I like the damage, but the double misfire, now I don't have a weapon. I don't know. I think if we're playing a shorter engagements, it's not so bad, but when you're playing long engagements like this, I don't know if we can afford that. Same thing as the, the MMLs with the risk. They're nice weapons, very versatile, but I think in long engagement looks like this, they're just going to end up being more hindrance than anything. Like even the Rack 5 being jammed. I know I'm firing at full out. Which can be an issue, but it you, you, we have to. You know what I mean? This guy wants to come at us. Alright, I wonder who we're going to target. I... No. Carrier's 47. I think w Heavy Calliope was what? Come on. You can you can do it. You should be able to do it. No, I think we do this guy. All weapons are go. Just back up. Okay, Gundal's going on 23, Mastodon on 23, Goofy on 24. See what we can get here. Both the Dervish and the Quick Draw are pretty much, this guy's lost his arm and everything. He's not dropping his heat in any way. Reporting. Hey buddy. Fire maneuver. We want to hammer this guy. I want this guy out of the battle now. The is okay, I got a tag on. Let's get into the trees. I know we're going to overheat, but we have to. Yeah, relax. We're good. Watch my heat level. I am. Hatchetman. Bastard. He's going for the base. Yes, Commander. 
Wow, that guy was shut down? Ooh, do we... How much has he got left here? A lot. I want to just hammer this guy. I want to kill this guy. Beautiful. Don't know what we hit, but... It's enough to take him down. It's beautiful. We're going to overheat a bit, but we'll have to deal with that. Okay, their front line shield is gone. They got two weak mechs. We should, we should, we should be able to pull down. Please, please, please finish this one. Let's multi-target this if we can here. Uh, what the chance in the carrier would be. Let's shoot this guy. This guy. And this guy. 52. I've only got one LRM-15 left. Let's use it on A. Ninety nine on B, thirty three on C A. Eh? Is that rack gonna be enough though for the Calliope turret? I don't know if it is. Let's make sure we get it. And firing. Confirm. Beautiful. Nice hit. Oh, we hit two. Beautiful. I'm on my way. Okay, getting into position. Yes, this guy doesn't have much left, but he's a secondary target. We got to get up here. I don't think we're going to do much to this guy. Nope. What else do we got? Six and a half on the carrier. Twenty-seven. Well, let's use it on this guy. Fire. Well, that's some nice damage. Hit. Killed three, three uh, double heat sinks. Okay. Um, maybe. Ah, uh, not enough. Damage, though. Target's taking a critical hit. Take that. We'll take that! Let's move up the road this way. We're missing our right side, so let's... Right? Yeah, left side on this side. Oh, we lost... We didn't... Oh, we lost the arm, which is why we lost the hyper... Well, the hyper laser may have exploded, though. Probably what happened. Quick draw is still standing there, completely overheating. He can't do anything. Okay, I'm going to move back here because that, hat that hatchetman's moving up. Hopefully we can... The turrets will do something to that hatchetman. Okay, they got two forces left left in the enemy base, and wave one has got three left, and support lance has got three left, so eight on the field. Four more arriving shortly. Oof, he's got heavy hitters. Heavy hitters on that. I'm in trouble. Yeah, just hold on, buddy. Kill that carrier, please.
Oh man, Hellion and Gun and uh, Gundal go. Then Duck. Okay, so it's not too bad. We got some heavy hitters going early. So maybe we can strip that command bunker. I think we'll back away from the king crab. Oh, we can't. We can't do a damn thing to that. But we can do a damn thing to this. Back it up. Back it up. What are you down to here? 73. Okay, not so bad. It's bad, but not so bad. We could just hammer this guy. What's the chance? Why are you going up there? It's actually not bad. Ooh, all four. Let's get down here. We're dropping into a minefield, I know, but at least we're out of their sight range. Yeah, he's got Inferno rockets. That's all right. Yeah. We'll deal with it. Watch my heat level. I know. You're a little warm there, buddy. Uh, let's turn this off and this off. Give this guy 40. Copy that. See ya. One less target. Wanted to trade blows, so there you go. That'll drop our heat. Okay, what do we got? Goofy and Mastodon. Now Mastodon... Uh, I screwed the camera up here. Uh, Mastodon might be able to finish up that uh, hatchetman. If we can get him into the right spot here. Don't think so. Not without running through fire. Don't know about finishing it up either. So let's just... Uh, flames on the way. Let's go here. Yeah, let's finish him up. Reporting. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Yes, Commander. Carriers are the real threat, you know. Okay. Let's drop our heat this way. Let's drop a couple sixes on this guy. Ah, a little bit. Destroyed his hip, so he's not moving very fast. Not that he's going anywhere anyway. He's like completely overheating. As soon as he moves, he'll probably shut down. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think... I think he's got an AMS those on those things. So um, so I'm not going to bother shooting over there, but we will shoot here. Oh, yeah, man! Let's 
Let's get down here. Get some stability back. That was a good shot. We need to get these in the range of the turret. So we're going to go ahead and do that. It's got a lot of armor. I'm receiving you. Okay, let's do this. Going to leave both ER larges off for now. Gain a little bit of heat back. We're going to have to face off against that hatchet. Actually, you know what? Forget it. Let's leave them on. Get the Warlord. Let's use it. Cool off a little bit. We can face off against the hatchman with a little bit more uh, heat resistance. Beautiful. All right. We've cleared the center out. They got reinforcements in two rounds. So who do we got left? We got Workhorse left. No, that was Dallas. Workhorse is already gone. All right, so we're we're done for this turn. Okay. So that hatchetman, I don't know why our turrets aren't shooting. I guess they don't really have. Is that a point defense? God, we're gonna have so much in repairs, guys. Sniper artillery, heavy LRM, heavy shredder, hardened goss. And these guys aren't even shooting at anybody. Thanks, Wolf. That's that AC2 carrier. They got another Lerm turret back there somewhere. That's the back corner. There's another turret back there somewhere. I wonder if it's a stealth turret. Oh shit, really? Well. They're dropping it right on top of us, eh? Rack attack. Moving. Not the best positioning, but... Okay, got to go through the minefield. Okay, let's get into here. Hey, yep. Yeah, nothing. Damn it. I saw that. Maybe get lucky, hit the turret. Nope, couldn't get so lucky. Let's move into here. Face this way. I'm here. Order acknowledged. All right, that's pretty good range firing. Took something off. Arm looked like. Good to go. Roger.
Man, we're running low on ammo. Put a pair of 15s on this guy, probably? Still not enough. You did. Not enough for a kill, though. We are running low on ammo. It almost makes you want to run all laser builds. Almost. Trading off shots with me, are you? It's a battle you're going to lose. Yes, Commander. Now we need direct line of sight. Go with the 40, I think. Oh, maybe not. Let's go with 30. 30 is still too hot. I guess just 20 then. All right, firing. Oh, it was enough. Beautiful. Okay. You got barrage in one turn. Okay, let's see how much... Oh, we don't have ability to get that back guy with AMS. Or, to see if he's got AMS. We're just going to fire on this guy. Still got a fair bit of ammo. Nope, no AMS firing back there, which is good. At least that I can tell. So we got two, three, six guys. Or, three mechs and three turrets. And four coming in next turn who will go before everybody because, you know, they're awesome. Not much armor left in that location. Yeah, well, you don't have a lot of armor left anywhere. Waiting for orders. Oh, you got the tag barrage, though. I don't know. This is a really risky move. Let's do this. Let's just shoot this for now. I'm saving that barrage for the buildings. Okay, we're into the internal structure. Something got hit. hit Commander. Thank you. God damn it. I'm what is up? Guess I was lucky that time. I got an urban mech. Well, that's fun. Yes, Commander. All right. He's giving me his good side. 
I know we risked this last time, but we're going to do the same thing. See what we can do here. Beautiful, they all hit. Okay, at least it didn't hit, uh, or we didn't want it to. She's still got a ton of armor. Let's shred this command bunker. Got us a lot of internal structure. Okay, beautiful. What's this thing back here? Thumper artillery vehicle? F you. Seventy seven, huh? One oh eight on the side. One sixty, half of that in the turret. Eighty in the back. Forty percent chance though. I think we take the uh what is it? Grasshopper seventy seven. That's not bad. Zukov, LBX, eight seventy two. Probably has a couple hundred on the side. Let's try and make this guy unstable. Hopefully he'll just not do anything this turn. Um, how far can we jump here? That's actually pretty good. Let's do this. Let's do this, this, and this. That'll go to B. And these to A. Let's go this route. Target acquired and locked in. Beautiful. Nice hit. Reporting heavy damage. I know I, I know we needed that for the buildings, but we had to do something back there. All right, you're woefully out of position. Let's get you back into the game here. All right, what are we targeting here? Fulcrum 29, 64 in the Grasshopper, Zukov 57, 70 on this guy. So it looks like it's going to be a multi-target. We're going to do you. What was this guy again? 23, wow. 
I know the zoo cop was less. What, I can't target him? Is he stealth? Uh... Where's B? Oh, C is the Zukov. Okay, there we go. Alright, one hit on him. Couple shots in the Zukov coming up. Two hits. Like this. I know we gotta get out of the gully. But we're gonna fire on this guy. He's a melee mech. We got to kill that guy. I mean we gotta kill everybody, but this guy is pretty much done for. He's a stick, I think, pretty much. So we got workhorse left? You get hit in the head. Heat damage. Engine destroyed, really? Those fucking turrets, man. Yeah, oh, damn it. Rack is still up, huh? What is this guy carrying? It looks just so deadly with that big long thing on his side. Go after the crab. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Can't see it. Oh, it's because of this. Okay, that's a lot of hit points. We didn't kill we didn't kill all the buildings? That's a lot of hit points. Yes, Commander. The fact that we can't shoot those turrets is really an or shoot the buildings is really annoying. Yes, Commander. On my way. Gotta sweep this guy. He's planted on there itself. There's a bunker. We gotta get rid of him. Roger that. Full speed. 
Got eyes on this command bunker now, but not good enough. Shooting on this guy. Okay, we got one hit. Not bad. Reporting. Let's get your stability back. Wow, the heat, eh? Okay, not bad. All right, duck. Um, Waiting for orders. Just in case that jerk decides to try and hit me from behind. I copy. Here you go. Have some of this. What are you up to? You're going after the base. I'm receiving you. Guys, I don't know here. We're better at range, so let's back up a little bit. Location confirmed. Grasshopper, probably. Zukov, we might get a kill on if we get lucky. All right, let's just do this. Critical hit, Commander. Okay. God, I don't know, guys. This is really, really tri shifty now. They got mechs coming in two turns. Round 13, it's not so bad. I mean, if this was full of helicopters, it might be worse. Well, as long as he's applying a sensor lock and not shooting anybody in the back. You're going to fire, are you? Frig is he using? I'm taking some serious damage here. Reporting minimal damage. Gotta get those turrets. Next turn, I guess. Damn close. I think Goofy's got his um, barrage up this turn too, so if we can push him real close, go for a building strike. Oh, of course, they're going to be right on top of us, because where else would they be? Let's just push those, push the base. It's a bad move on your your behalf. You got a pair of PPCs aiming at right at your back, buddy. Commander. Location confirmed. Okay. 
Okay. See what we got here. Not so good on you. What's this? Medium building. Wow, that's a lot of hit points. Let's take a shot on this guy. Wow, really? Couldn't hit with a big one, huh? Can we get a shot? A good shot on this building? 54. That's not bad. Okay. Nice. That turret is gone. Worth every missile. We're down to two turns of fire. Heading out. Who's got the barrage? I think it's Goofy. Can I turrets please fire at any point in time in this game? Waiting for orders. You got two turns for the barrage to be back. Damn it. Roger. Full speed. Fifty percent. Wow, we're really overheating. I think no matter what though, it's got to be this. He's going down. Reporting. Critical hit. Standing by. Get a clean shot? We can. Get a clean shot at this guy. Acknowledge. Reporting critical hit. Okay, serious damage if the base turrets ever begin to fire. At any point in time in this match, this guy should be toast. Somehow I doubt that though. Who do we got left? We got, uh, Mastodon. We are severely low on LRMs. We're going to be playing Brawl Bots here in a second. But we got to kill this guy. Dropping a load in his pants, what he's doing. That's it for our turn, I think. Come on, man. Why are my turrets not firing? Their turrets seem to be working just fine. My turrets? Eh. That shot got past my armor. They're not even shooting. What the? Holy... I 
Are you kidding me? Well, the wonderful thing is, is they're going to be heading for the base. <laughs> so I could just run past them. Ready for order. Let's give them our base. I'm so still terrified, though. They're going to shoot me in the back here. Like I can't. Where am I going to turn? Oh, my God. Nope here okay it's not bad On the move. Full speed. Got it. okay the base is open Target eliminated. Hang on, buddy. <laughs> oh my god. I wonder if that self-propelled artillery is out of ammo. I got one turn left before the friggin' tag is up here. We need that turret, though. We gotta go full speed. This is the last turret. Uh, we must have lost heat sinks. It's the only thing I can think of. Okay, he's almost done. That's a critical hit. It is. Ready for orders. Uh, I want you to reserve too. Dallas, you need to slowly make your way to, to the evac point. <laughs> like, we're in big trouble. Because our turrets aren't firing. They're just sitting there like they're like, eh, whatever. Rotary's down. Let's get this turret out of here. Okay. That turret's gone. Now I don't have to worry about turning my back to this side. Yes, Commander. In theory. Okay, good chances to hit. Oof. All right, let's apply some damage to this building. Not a lot, but we got one more turn, and we can put a we can put a uh, barrage on this thing. I don't know about this, guys. Locked on target. Yes, Commander. Double tap. Let's go. Target locked. Come on, finish him up. Yes, nice. Confirm, 
So really it's just the four buildings. I don't know if we're going to succeed in this mission, guys. All right, duck. God, you can't. Okay, that puts you in the trees. What's left of the trees over there? Uh. Which building has got the least amount of damage on it? This one. 60%, that's not bad. Let's just go with a let's go with a 30. Firing on target. Hopefully the barrage will have enough to knock them out. Moving as fast as I can, man. I'm moving as fast as I can. That's terrible positioning. That's better. Oh, we only hit the close buildings, huh? You know what? Let's hang on to these 60 rounds because we might need them. I'm going to put all my friggin' rest or uh, thing in all my, uh, what's it called? You hang on. I'm going to reserve this turn. I'm going to put all my stock into that uh, barrage up here. Either Goofy's going to be the hero and save us all or we're in trouble. I don't want to provoke any other mechs here. I want to kill that longbow. Good to go. Let's reserve you. I want to kill the longbow, but I'm just terrified that uh, they're just going to turn and fire on us and we're going to be in trouble. Why are my turrets not shooting? They're just like, eh, whatever. Eh. Come on. One good thing is at least these guys will have their back to me. Oh, he's decided to shoot at me. Yes, Commander. Either going to be a hero. Or a villain. All right. There you go. My armor is peeling away. Oh, you got one building? What? Oh, for shit's sake, I hit, hit sprint. Oh, for... Well, hooray for that. Tag, this doesn't do enough. I guess because the buildings have so many hit points. All right, well... You can deal with it this way. Twelve rounds left. How much do you have left? Almost nothing. K 
Okay, let's dial you back to three. Gonna multi target this with U and U. B and B, we should be able to take two here. Well, be yep. Harder. Yep. Is that it? Nope. It's never it. It's never enough. Jesus Christ. Let's try this. All right. Well, okay, I did a little bit of damage. A little bit of damage! Commander. Come on, be the hero today. Lamb's on the way. Be the hero we know you all can be. There it is. Oh. Good to go. Now we just need to get now we just need a GTFO. Question is, are they gonna keep shooting at my base or are they gonna like Engage. That's the big question. What do I want to kill here? The Wraith is what? 888, medium pulse and PPC. This guy's got an arrow one shot, which he's used. Hellstorm artillery. Oh my god, Hellstorm artillery piece, eh? That's only a 30. I, that's a really low chance to hit. This guy's the Lerm blow. Oh my god. We're gonna shoot this guy in the back, everybody. Oh yeah! I hope they keep pushing that base. Looks like they're gonna kind of yeah they are we're just gonna make a sprint directly to our extraction point and hopefully they don't kill the base before uh, we get out of here actually can you get a shot in the Heliopolis wait where is it that's it right there eh All right, let's work on getting out of here, though. Gonna hit this guy, see if we can make him unstable. And let's do a Warlord on him. Better chance to hit. Confirm. Okay, beautiful. It's gonna help our boys at the back. Boys and girls at the back, people at the back, everybody at the back. Everybody make a sprint for the out point. This is nasty, man. We may have to drop down to three skulls for the next little bit. Get some more gear. It's a side shot in this guy, eh? OK, 
Okay, he's going down. That doesn't help because now we can't shoot him in the back. Okay, we got one back out. Full speed, please. Affirmative. I think we can have this longbow up too. Well, 97% chance, I don't see why not. Got the tag barrage up, get the warlord up. And uh, let's apply some damage to this guy. Aren't we all? Yes, Commander. Okay. Uh, go with what we can. I think they're going to slowly rotate to engage us. It's bad for us. We still got at least three turns before we're out of here. No, he's shooting at the base still. They've got a sensor lock on me. Promise I won't fuck up your movement this time. What do you think, guys? Grasshopper or Zukov? Good chances to hit, but I don't think that's going to be a kill. This most likely will be a kill. But the Grasshopper's real close. He's got melee. I can't believe the base is like still hanging in there. That's like crazy. Zuchov! Ow. You'll pay for that! Oh my god, my Guardian ECM's gone now too. That was a big hit. Well, at least you're within ECM range of this guy. Helipolis. Getting the hell beat out of him. Still going straight. You're gonna get your ass kicked. He's in a thunderbolt. This is crazy, man. Can't believe we're surviving this so far. Oh, there's another building gone. Going as fast as I can, man. If our turrets were firing, shiz would be different. That's full speed, huh? You got three rounds left, eh? Where's the Helipolis? Oops. Doesn't really matter. We'll be out of ammo in a second here anyway. Firing! Nice. You got that right! Um, that's terrible. I don't want to engage people that haven't been shooting at us. This guy's not a bad choice. This guy's even better. Let's probably use our last few rounds on this guy. Oh, yeah. I think if we're going to do a mission like this again, definitely need to up our tonnage. 
didn't think it would take this long. I didn't realize that we would have to push through all the enemies to get to the base like that. I thought it would have been a little more separated. But it's just like one side and another. Full speed, man. Mm. Let's do this. Gonna be you, looks like. Oh yeah, man! Two nice hits. Oh yeah! How can we do that earlier? Spoiler alert! Sprint. Yeah. Well. Back it up. Back it up. We can't get to use the Warlord. Roger. See ya. Vehicle down. Gunner was too worried about shooting those incoming missiles. Should have been more worried about the hell was coming at it from PPC range. Goofy's moving slowly. See if we can keep this guy panicked. Uh, I'm gonna switch to standard ammo. Gonna fire the sixes though. Save a bit of uh, heat here. Got some really good damage on these arms though. Yeah. Maybe he'll keep running. I don't want him to turn and fight, that's for sure. Who do we got left here? Duck, where are you? Gonna go park it here. I'm not gonna fire my last 30 rounds. That's a just in case they decide to wheel and attack us. I need to have something to fight back with. Full brace, please. Stabilizing and bracing. Thank you. Full speed. Okay. Might as well shoot this guy. Thought they were gonna hit him. Should get at least one hit. We got one hit. Two hits. Not bad. Not bad. Let him know that we're still looking at him. Going as fast as I can. Maybe if your fucking turrets were firing. Screw you. Stop shooting my base. Guard a critical hit. As much as I want to stay Commander. and finish these guys off. Goofy, you got like no speed, buddy. Roger. We got two more turns before we're out of here. Full Warlord. I want to stay and finish these guys off, but it's not worth any more damage I'm going to take. 
Plus, most of my guys are out of ammo. If that urban mech kills the base, I'm going to be so pissed. <laughs> Shit, that was it. He killed the base! <laughs> For Christ's sake, no! <laughs> that had to be a fucking urban mech. Hero Irbies are the bane of my existence. Oh my god. Okay. Do we lose a pilot? That's the question. No. He's just out for a long time. 40 days. Well, we're going to be selling shiz. Duck, okay. Pretty good job here. A lot of vehicle kills. How, how did this kind of play out here? The Zeus? Well, we knew the Zeus was going to do well. Archer? See, the archers are doing really well with kills. The Orion did really, really well. It's hitting well. It's it's good chances to hit. Hades did its job until we ran out of ammo. I don't know. Well, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I mean, salvage assigned. No, what? 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 We got nothing. We got nothing. Nothing at all. Oh my god, and it cost us like a million. <laughs> we got to sell a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh. I have to say, though, that was a really enjoyable fight. If anything, that was a really fun fight. Um, there was a couple times I thought, ah, maybe I'll just click the withdrawal and, and you know deal with what the loss is. I'm like, no, we can do this. We were just like like two turns away from the victory there by getting out. I don't know. Maybe I could have done something differently. I'm not sure. You know, maybe you guys could uh, throw some comments in the comment section. I, I don't know what I would have done differently. Honestly, I, I'm not sure what I should have done differently. Um, it's just really confusing for me to, 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 I don't know. I have no idea what I could have done differently. Let's bring the Zeus up. Uh, so the Zeus will go in 16 days, 16 days, uh, then we want to go, with the six days, then five and four, yeah, that'll be the best. I'm sure this could be better, but I'm going to go this route. Yeah, guys, you know, I don't know, I got to sell this stuff, bunch of stuff. We got... 20 days to the financial report. It's not too bad. We got two pilots out of action. I mean, there's some lower scale missions we could take here too with like one lance. Um, but we'll worry about that next time. Like, I mean, I don't know. Hero Irby, man. Lost contact, recovery in the jungle, five skulls, or sorry, uh, 521. Against, what, who's this against here? Wolf. So we'll need probably six max with three skulls if it's going to be uh, it's a recovery so it's a, going after a base yeah we might need six max up for that i don't know we got seven pilots then we got incomplete intelligence uh jade falcon we'll take the falcon mission first just so that we at least stay in half decent standing with them and then we'll go against the falcons i think we might be able to pull one of these off before the end of the month. At least I hope we can to get some sea bills. We got nothing out of that. Nothing. All right, guys. I'm ending this episode here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, you can drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. I always love comments. Until next time, we'll see you later.